Welcome back to Let's Play with Honey in Minecraft. As you can see, there's a little hole there. I'll show you that in a minute. I've made a few more uh, furnaces, and I have made a trip home. Brought back just one of each mushroom, some of the eggs, my steaks, jack-o'-lanterns I had already made from the library. Of course, a stack of arrows. I do not uh, have access to an arrow factory out here yet, so I do want to uh, still have arrows, but I didn't bring too much. Of course, my glass and all of my diamond bits. I know that this is uh, a new base and a new area, but at the same time, it is not a new world, and I do have access to my original base, so I have no problem with uh, continuing to take stuff from there that I've earned, although I do not want to just strip the whole place down. I don't mind bringing some things. So take a look. How's that for a down and dirty basic farm? And it's cheap, guys. As you can see, I just hollowed out underneath my little hut up there, and I actually have a hidden water source over there along uh, just and you can kind of see it right there peeking through and of course that is irrigating these one two three four blocks mostly filled with wheat uh, obviously the uh, reeds are up against that back wall everywhere that I didn't need a torch for light so that they could have their full height growth growth so I went ahead and put them up there and just the one pumpkin and the one watermelon I did not want to take up any more precious space and I'm pretty good with this if I keep up with harvesting. In fact, they weren't there just a couple of minutes ago when I harvested all the wheat and have uh, extra seeds. I also have been harvesting outside. And that has been trees. Take a look. I have planted. See, there's some pines. I brought some um, seedlings from the base one, the first base there all the regular oak and I've even got a few birch seedlings planted as well and I've already harvested one of them that popped so there's that and then over here it did not take long at all for me to figure out I needed to move my torches up because they were right here and right there they were melting my ice I didn't want to melt my ice so lesson learned one two three spaces number four can be can be the uh, torch so while I was over here planting and harvesting, I kind of admired my beautiful frozen river and took a moment to look around. And while I was doing that, I nearly fell and broke my neck. Right there. In fact, I did fall. I landed there. But I didn't fall all the way down there. So I thought, let's go explore that today. So that's what we're going to do with this episode. I'm going to go ahead and just explore right here. I'm not worried about it being night at all because we're going to be down here. So there we go. While I'm going ahead and just kind of randomly digging all this up, I also thought I would tell you guys why there is a, dis a, uh, a link in my description to this video, which has nothing to do with this video in particular. But it was something I saw and I thought you guys might be interested in. Uh, there is another YouTuber who does Minecraft. Uh, his name is Slizdick. And, uh, ooh, I don't think I can quite get that one. Okay. This is where I always fail. <laughs> the slowly going down part. Um, and so I put a link in there. I actually saw that he did a 100 video special. And I will warn you guys, it's an hour long, so you know right now it's a long one. He has a really nice tour of his home base. Oh, that's not too bad. And uh, there's a couple of surprises there, and I think I'll just leave it at that. Oops. I won't say anything else. I'll just let you discover it. So, Ugh. there we go. Can I actually dig straight down right there? Oof, there's two blocks. Okay. I know I'm breaking the Minecraft rule, but if you know that there's blocks under you, it's safe, right? And I definitely want more light. I mean, look at how many minerals there are right now. I've already got iron and coal. Oh my. Alright, so probably nothing under me now. Whew. 
is the part I get really nervous about. Inching my way down. And, oh, I popped another one wrong. I'll get that later. And hopefully I'm not falling to my doom. Oh. Awesome. I did it. Oh, it sounds pretty quiet down here. That's a good thing. <laughs> of course, I've got all these to go clean up now. And I better do it or it's going to irritate me, so... Done. Okay. Let's see what we've got. My initial thought when I looked down here was this could be a good spot to have... Um, a mine shaft. I'm not far from the house. It's already dug a good ways for me on its own. Sounds like I'm not alone. Hello. Okay, I see a zombie over there. I definitely hear bones. Ooh. Okay. Die. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get you before you snuck up behind me. Did you make it up there? I don't know if you made it up there. Ooh, creeper down there. Oh, wow. It sounds like I am definitely not alone. Oh, dark spots, dark spots. Okay, kamikaze. Oof. Okay. Yeah, two could play at that game. Oh, there's no creeper coming up to my side. Oh. Whoa! Where was that from? Where is that from? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Eating? I'm not really sure where that other arrow came from. I don't see another arrow. Oh, I can't even look around. We're going to have to come back here and look around. There, finally. It's not from there. Must be this direction. Oof. Oh, there you are. You're below me. Well, no wonder I couldn't see you. Sneaky boy. Did I get you? I didn't hear you. There. Now I got you. Is that another one? Oh. I'm so spooked now. Okay. Let's stop and take a look, moment to look around, now that I'm not being blasted. This kind of looks like a, like a ravine or something, like an open... Oh, it is a ravine! Check it out! You can see these layers, that's why I said it looked like a ravine. Oh, that is beautiful with the water and another... Oh, wow, another skeleton party down there. Well, boys, you can stay down there. Man, this place is, like, loaded with skeletons. Whoa! <gasps> oh! Okay, okay. Food is good. That is a bunch of them. I think I'm just gonna go in. Oh, wow. That is a dungeon. That is a dungeon, and that's probably a skeleton dungeon from the number of skeletons. <laughs> Die, 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 Okay, 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 okay. That was a lot of skeletons. Wow. This place is like skeleton central. Okay. Is that it? I still hear bones. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Oh, <laughs> mama's got a new arrow farm. Oh, nice. Redstone, bread, string, and gunpowder. Oh, that is fantastic. I have got a new 
arrow farm. You know what I should do? I know my blades are kind of halfway here between, you know, the nether, between here and the original base, and that's a good experience grinder. I should turn this into an EXP and arrow farm instead of just drowning them. Yeah, my oh, God. I knew I still heard air <sighs> bones. My honey has a pretty good, uh, pretty slick design that he uses. I might just do that. Oh, okay, that is not. Ooh, there's another one. Ugh. Man, this thing just let let go with the. Forget this. I am such a terrible shot. I need to practice that. I'm much better if I can look at them from a distance. <laughs> but when they're coming right at me, I get so spooked. This. Oh. Alright, this is not pretty, no matter how you look at it. There is just no way of, of approaching this thing without danger of death from above. <sighs> okay, that's a mushroom. I thought it was a ninja spider eye looking at me over the ledge. Alright, that skeleton farm has totally freaked me out. <sighs> oh, that was a ton of skellies, too. And this kind of glowing is there. Ooh, lava. Alright, let's keep lighting up the way. Not hearing any more bones, that's a good thing. Alright, that wraps around on itself. What's over here? Oh, ooh, what to check out up there? That might be, um, surface light. What time is it? Mmm, could be surface light. Oh. Well, you know what this means, of course. There's probably more cave or something on the other side of that, uh, on the other side of all this gravel. I have to go ahead and dig this one up. Yes, it's the only one over here. And, you know, you really, you don't want to leave any of this stuff behind. Even if you've got a ton of iron, I'm telling you guys, you still need to mine the ores that you see because you never know what's underneath that. I was actually playing um, on a multiplayer server just earlier today, and um, with a couple of friends of mine, Neko Art and Adkit, and Adkit and I were literally digging up or mining up some um, some iron just like that, and then lo and behold, underneath it, poof, there was uh, there were diamonds, and you never know what you're going to find hidden. Okay, this is more darkness. Oh, that is... Hear the sheep? That is definitely surface. Yep, you can see the snow. I'm going to put this right here. And eventually when I find that hole in the, in the ground, I'll see the torch and I will know. Honey was here. <laughs> Oh, spider. Now, so far, I, even though there was a ravine, I haven't seen any sign of, uh, you know, the telltale wood posts or anything. Any sign of a an abandoned mine. Which is okay, because we've got our abandoned mine at the other base. But, um, but it'd be interesting if that's just a ravine. Because I actually never even got to explore the ravine at my original base. Yeah, that's where we just went. Here's the lava we crossed over. I don't want to get myself lost. One more little ledge over here. Oh, this is really cool. Anyway, I never really got to fully explore the ravine at our original base. I kept thinking that those mines were going to pop out. Oh, wow. That is another skeleton. I'd probably kill him a lot better with the <laughs> with the swords and with the shovel. 
Look at you just standing there. Oh, I'm glad that was a zombie and not a creeper. Oh, are you kidding me? That's way, way too many zombies. Is that the last of my sword? It is. That's the last of my sword. Uh, is there going to be a zombie spawner? As she squeals and randomly runs in. No. Okay. Okay. No zombie spawner. Just a zombie party. Got it. Oh, man. That was freaky. I know I'm probably overkilling the lights, but I... <laughs> There are so many critters in this place. It is insane. Oh, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of time to mine up all of this exposed goodness that I've just found here. <laughs> oh, that's really freaking me out. I'm going to go ahead and mine some of this beautiful exposed uh, goodies. There's got to be more that way. Wow. Um, and of course grab the uh, all of the beautiful mossy cobble that we've got from that awesome skeleton dungeon and uh, make a trip back and forth home. I'll come back next time and fill you in on all the goods that I got. I hope you had a lot of fun. I did. Until next time guys. Bye.